Yeah, so we've been on a small stream today. Uh, it's got rainbows and browns in it. And uh, we've just been taking turns, Dave and I. And Dave's been prospecting the water actually with just a small little bugger. And there's not a lot going on for bugs today. So we've seen caddis in the shaded areas and we've also seen some PMDs. Um, we've been mostly focused on, because that's what the water's been, some long glides and flat pools. And there's been a few fish that we've picked up, not a lot. Um, what I've been doing to this point has just been a dry dropper setup, and that's just in the faster little riffles. And I've had some success, but most of it has been actually on the nymph. So what I've chosen is we've come up here, and this is a nice long glide and pool, but leading into it is this beautiful, beautiful shelving riffle drop-off. And I know that if I get a couple nymphs drifted right through that seam, that I'm gonna pick up some fish. So what I've done is I'm using a, a nine foot uh, five weight rod here and I've got on about a 10 foot leader and I've got two nymphs. The bottom fly is a caddis pupa about a size 12 and then about a foot up from that on my tag end I've got a size 14 uh, little copper bead head pheasant tail. So here's my setup. I've got my heavier fly, size 12 caddis pupa on the bottom. A foot up from that is my slightly lighter nymph. And three feet from the bottom fly is my New Zealand strike indicator. I've chosen black wool because it's a great contrast when you're staring into glare. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing here. So, so far I've had about probably 10 drifts and I've had a couple takes, nothing that's stuck. And of course I had that one fish take the indicator. So what I'm actually gonna do now is I am gonna go deeper. So with this New Zealand strike indicator, it's really just this easy. You take it and you move it up and I'm gonna move it up about a foot. And I'm gonna see if I can pick up anything a little bit deeper. So at the end of my drift, because there's a log here, all I've got to do is flip it downstream, let the water load it, and then it's as simple as a little roll cast up to 11 o'clock and back to 1 o'clock and back out on the water. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I end up with a roll cast downstream. I flip it forward, up, and on the water, let it come down. Obviously these little men's you can see I'm doing to make sure I have connection with that indicator and right here before the log, I flip it down. That way there's no chance I'm getting hung up in that log. You can see that the indicator's downstream of me. If I feel I need to, I can do another cast downstream and then again, roll forward, pause up to one o'clock on the water. Catch up to any line. And there we go, fish on. Right on. Little guy. <laughs> 